Hello friends, myself Salil Gargay. I am a mathematics teacher by profession and I have also authored a couple of math workbooks. In this video, I am going to explain the principle of common ratio. So let's get started. So now I am going to show you the concept of common ratio. Assume that there is a school and there are four divisions in a particular standard a b c d and this table lists out how many boys and girls are there in that in that uh, particular school say in each division now if you notice over here if i were to find the ratio of boys to girls i know that i can calculate the ratio as 24 is to 30 ratio is basically division of two numbers comparing two numbers by division now it's quite possible to simplify these two numbers the common number which simplifies this is 6 and therefore, if I divide both the numbers by 6, I get 4 is to 5. And therefore, I can say that the ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 5. Similarly, in each section, you will notice that the ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 5. And this is, I mean, you can try this on your own, that if you take the ratio of each uh, boys in each section to girls in each section, you will find that the ratio is 4 is to 5. So I have written the ratio of boys to girls in the last row, which is 4 is to 5. Now if you observe something over here, 24 can be written as 4, 6 are, whereas 30 can be written as 5, 6 are. Do you observe something over here? The ratio of boys to girls was 4 is to 5. You notice these numbers 4 and 5 here. Along with it, you also observe that both the numbers are getting multiplied with a common value, which is 6 in this case. If you notice this particular number, 16 is 4 4s are and 20 is 5 4s are. Again, if you notice over here, the ratio being 4 is to 5, these two numbers 4 and 5 were getting multiplied with a common number and then you got the number of boys and girls. That can be done with 12 as well. 12 is 4 3s are and 15 is 5 3s are. Again the number 3 is common in both the columns or in both the rows. And in, se in the section D you have 40 which is 4 10s are and the number of girls is 50 which is 5 10s are. So in each of these cases you will observe that there is a constant number which is getting multiplied with 4 and that gives you the number of boys. And if you multiply the same number with 5, you get the number of girls. That tells us that there is a common number which is getting multiplied with 4 as well as 5 and you get each of these numbers. So if I were the principal of the school and I wanted to find the section which has the ratio of boys to girls as 4 is to 5, the problem is each of these sections have the ratio of 4 is to 5. So if I want to find the number of boys and girls, it's going to get difficult because each section has different boys and girls but the ratio still remains the same. So what I can do in this case or what I can conclude in this case is the number of boys is 4 multiplied by some number. It is 6 in case of division A, it is 4 in case of division B, it is 3 in case of division C and it is 10 in case of division D. But the number of boys is, I can conclude that the number of boys in a particular division is 4 multiplied by some number. Now I can take that number as say k where k is considered to be a number which is common to boys and girls and the number of girls that I can write is or the number of girls is going to be equal to 5 multiplied by the same number which is 5 multiplied by k. This number k is called the common ratio. So in this case k is called the common ratio. So just saying that the ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 5 does not give us a good idea of how many boys and girls are there but we know for sure that the number of boys is going to be 4 multiplied by some number and the numbers are different in the different divisions. The number of girls is also going to be 5 multiplied by the same number and that that common number is called the common ratio. So common ratio will help us find the number of items give, provided that the ratios are known. Now you need something on top of these ratio numbers to actually solve the problem. And in the next section, I will show you how to solve problems using common ratio. I hope that this concept of common ratio is understood. 
So now let's take a look at two problems which use common ratio. So the first problem says if a is to b is to c is 3 is to 5 is to 7 and the sum of the, these numbers is 75, find those individual numbers. Now the ratio is given, us, given to us which is a is to b is to c. So we know that a is to b is to c is 3 is to 5 is to 7. So since the ratio is known, let us assume that k is the common ratio. So let k be our common ratio. Now I would like to explain something here. You can actually pick any alphabet as the common ratio. It need not be k. It could be x, it could be y, it could be z, a, b, c and so on. So since k is the common ratio and the ratio is 3 is to 5 is to 7, we saw that in the earlier section we saw that I can write a as 3 times k. I can write b as 5 times k and I can write c as 7 times k. Now just based on these ratios we have got these three numbers but still the problem is k is unknown. We don't know what the value of k is. If we can find the value of k we can easily find the value of a, b and c by multiplying 3 with k, 5 with k and 7 with k. Therefore to find this k we need something more and that something more will come in form of this particular equation. So it's given that a plus b plus c is 75 which means 3k plus 5k plus 7k is equal to 75. I can write this because I have replaced a, b and c with their corresponding numbers. So 3k, 5k and 7k together make 15k. So 15k is equal to 75 which means k is equal to 75 divided by 15 which is 5. Now that we have found this common ratio k is 5. Now that we have the value of k we can easily find the value of a, b and c. So a would therefore be 3 times k which is 3 times 5, b would be 5 times k which is 5 times 5 and c would be 7 times k which is 7 times 5. Therefore the numbers would be 15, 25 and 35. So we saw here that the ratio gives us an idea of what the numbers are but again those numbers are unknown because the common ratio is unknown. To find the common ratio you need an additional condition which comes in form of an equation and there from that particular equation you can find the common ratio. Once you find the common ratio you can easily find those individual numbers. Now let's take the second problem. The ratio of two numbers is 7 is to 9. So let's assume that the two numbers are 7x and 9x. So over here I have taken x as my common ratio. Now again x is unknown. So since x is unknown these two numbers are also unknown. To find x now I will use the next condition which is given. So what's the condition? Twice the smaller number. So the smaller number between 7x and 9x is definitely going to be 7x. So twice the smaller number which is 2 times 7x added to so added to thrice the larger number that is 3 times 9x equals 164. So if you notice over here having the ratio we got the two numbers in terms of the common ratio. Now using that, those two numbers we are trying to frame an equation to find the actual value of the common ratio. So now let's solve this equation 2 into 7x is 14x plus 3 into 9x is 27x is equal to 164. If you add these two numbers you get 41x is equal to 164 which means x is equal to 164 by 41 which is 4. So now we have found that the common ratio is actually 4. Now you can find these two numbers. The two numbers would be 7 times 4 and 9 times 4. Therefore the numbers are 28 and 36. So I hope that from this particular these two questions you understood that common ratio has two parts. One is from the ratio you can frame the numbers and to find that common ratio you need that additional equation. Once you find that common ratio you can find the numbers that are involved. I do hope that the concept of common ratio is now clear and that you will be able to solve a few more problems related to ratios. Thank you. So I do hope that you found this video interesting. In the next video, I'll come up with a new idea or a new concept. Do like, share and subscribe my video channel and stay connected for more interesting videos. 
गुड बाय एंड थैंक यू